Let's rationalize 1 over root 2. The goal when rationalizing is to get rid of the denominator, and we do so by multiplying both top and bottom by that same radical. Root 2 over root 2 is 1. Same over same is 1, so this is okay. Let's work on the denominator. Root 2 times root 2 is root 4, or just the inside, 2. 1 times anything is itself. So we rationalize the denominator. We got rid of the radical from the bottom. This here is the correct answer. And by convention, this is the preferred answer. Rationalized. So you can match the answer in the back of the textbook. As for this question here, we can multiply top and bottom by root 8. Put a dot means multiplied. Root 8 times root 8 is just 8 and we have 4 root 8. 4 divided by 8 is the same thing as 1 half, and root 8 is 2 root 2. We have a 2 on the numerator and the denominator, so these cancel. So the final answer is root 2. Let's try the same question again with a slightly different style. We'll write this entire radical as a mixed radical. Root 8 is 2 root 2, and then multiply top and bottom by root 2. 4 divided by 2 is just 2. And we know that when we multiply the denominators, root 2 times root 2 is 2. So we see these 2's cancel, and we get the same answer, root 2. Now how can we rationalize these questions here? For this question here, we multiply by the conjugate, which means you copy the denominator, and instead of choosing minus, we choose plus, the same first and last term. To make this fair, we multiply top and bottom by the same, the same binomial. Multiplying the bottom, we have 6 times 6 is 36. And if we use FOIL, outside and inside, they cancel out. So all we have to do is multiply L, the last, root 3 times root 3. We have a negative and a positive, so you get negative. Root 3 times root 3 is just 3. In the top, we have 9, bracket, 6 plus root 3. What is 36 minus 3? We get 33. We can divide top and bottom by 3. So we have 3, 6 plus root 3 over 11. This is an acceptable answer. Or we can use distribution as well. This is equivalent to 18 plus 3 root 3 over 11. Now be careful when we have a cube root. When we have a cube root, we don't just multiply once on the bottom by cube root 3. You multiply twice. And we balance out the bottom with the top as well. We have the cube root of 3 times the cube root of 3. Because when we multiply cube root of 3 times cube root of 3 times cube root of 3 three times, the bottom cancels out and becomes just 3. The cube root of 3 times 3 times 3 is 3. And the top, we have the cube root. And you're allowed to multiply the insides. 3 times 3 is 9. So whatever the index of this radical is, this, in this case it's 3, we repeat the bottoms, the denominators, such that we get rid of the radical from the bottom. Let's simplify root 8 plus 3 root 2. Root 8 is the same thing as 2 root 2, because we have root 2 times 2 times 2, and there's a group of 2's that breaks out of the radical, and only one survives. So what is 2 root 2 plus 3 root 2? This is like saying what's 2 apples plus 3 apples, and the answer is 5 apples, or 5 root 2. Let's simplify this expression. We have root 8, which is 2 root 2, minus the cube root of 32. 32 is equivalent to 5 2's being multiplied. And for this term, 
when three friends try to break out of this cube root jail, only one survives. So this entire term becomes minus two cube root of two times two, which is four. And here we have plus three root two, and we have plus the cube root of four, which is the same thing as one times the cube root of four. So what is two root two plus three root two? We have five root two. And we have minus two of something plus one of something becomes minus the cube root of that something, which is the cube root of four.